And meanwhile, Trump said, publicly said, if he's reelected, he's going to defund Social Security payments. The actuary at Social Security Department said if he does that, that will eliminate, eliminate Medicare by 2023. This year in committee, a number of amendments were offered uh, to fix what I perceive to be at least problems in this resolution, this constitutional amendment. We tried to keep the Social Security Trust Fund off budget. We'll hear a good deal of hyperbole uh, uh, on this amendment, promises by those that this is going to cure all and promises by those if it passes that we're going to go to hell in the handbasket and rapidly and all our liberties will be taken from us. Uh, I hope we kind of keep our eye on the ball here and at least have an open mind um, uh, to the prospect that we can make this amendment better and still have an amendment. I'm sure someone has looked out over the next 15 years and concluded if we stay on the track, even the one predicted by the President of the United States, that uh, we will be uh, providing for an increasingly larger share of every tax dollar just to go to reduce interest on the debt. And to me, that's the driving force behind this amendment. When I introduced the budget freeze years ago, the liberals of my party said, it's an awful thing you're doing, Joe. You are all the programs we care about. You're freezing them. Money for the blind, the disabled, education, and so on. And my argument then is the one I make now, which is the strongest, most compelling reason to be for this, but this amendment or an amendment. And that is that if we don't do that, all the things I care most about are going to be gone. I mean, whatever happened to that old conservative discipline about paying for what you spend? I'm up for re-election this year, and I'm going to remind everybody what I did at home, which is going to cost me politically. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans' benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. Somebody has to tell me in here how we're going to do this hard work without dealing with any of those sacred cows. I'm one of those Democrats who voted for the constitutional amendment to balance the budget. I have introduced on four occasions, four occasions, entire plans to balance the budget, knowing I'm not president and I'm not the leader, but for illustrative purposes. I tried with Senator Grassley back in the 80s to freeze all government spending, including Social Security, including everything. Ladies and gentlemen, the American people know we have to fix Social Security. They know we can't grow our way to a solution. They know we're going to have to make some tough decisions. Senator, we have a deficit. We have Social Security and Medicare looming. The number of people on Social Security and Medicare is now 40 million people. It's going to be 80 million in 15 years. Would you consider looking at those programs, age of eligibility, absolutely. cost of living, put it all on the table? The answer is absolutely you have to. I don't know a whole lot of people in the top one-tenth of one percent, or the top one percent, are relying on Social Security. Do we when we win the election, when I win the election, I'm going to completely and totally forgive all deferred payroll taxes without in any way, shape, or form hurting Social Security. That money is going to come from the general fund. We're not going to touch Social Security. I said from day one that we're going to protect Social Security, and uh, we're going to protect our people. And Social Security is one of the things that will be protected. Pre-existing conditions will be protected. Medicare will be protected. But Social Security will be totally protected under me. Under them, it will not be protected, because we will have a stock market crash, the likes of which you've never seen. Attack. That if we don't do that, all the things I care most about are going to be gone. I mean, what?